we all know the saying, defense wins championships. And it was Kentucky's defense that willed the Wildcats to victory on the road against Tennessee. Now in the Vols' last three games, they put up 87, 85, and 77 points against their opponents. But against Kentucky, they were held to only 56 points, tying a season low for the Vols. Saturday's performance was easily the best the Cats have looked on defense all season. Head coach John Calipari explains how his team banded together to play the brand of basketball they know they can play. We defended and fought like my teams normally do. We haven't been that to this point. They made a commitment to each other that they would fight this game. And it was between them. I wasn't in, in a couple of the meetings they had. Because what's happened to this team is guys are so engaged in their game. If they're not playing well, they can't play for us because they're going to, they're not thinking about us. Today, every guy was locked in and focused on us. Kentucky women's hoops on the road, taking off Florida. It's a tied ball game in the third quarter. Robin Benton dimes up Maddie Scher, who hits the baseline floater at the buzzer. Kentucky leads by two going into the fourth quarter. Now in the fourth, we have Jada Walker knocking down an elbow jumper, big time shot. And then the Cats playing some defense as well. Robin Benton gets the steal, attacks the lane, gets the foul and one bucket. She had 29 points in the ball game. Kentucky gets a huge road win, 81 to 75. Here's what head coach Kyra Elsey had to say after the game. We talked about we needed to get to the free throw line 20 plus times, play downhill, uh, attack offensively, and put our feet in the paint and score on balance. And I thought we did that. I thought our guards were super tough. I mean, Robin Benton, Maddie Shear, Jada Walker, they made big plays in the paint when we had to have them. EKU Hoops knocked off Stetson Saturday to jump into a tie for first place in the Atlantic Sun Conference. The Colonels are now 5-1 in conference play before taking on Lipscomb next. Fifth-year head coach A.W. Hamilton has worked extremely hard to build the program up to the point it's currently at, but he and the team recognize much more work has to be done to remain the top dog. There's a long way to go. We're not even halfway, so we can start talking about that maybe next week. You know, So there's just, we just got to continue to get better. Um, we need a day off. Tomorrow's going to be good for us. Guys can get treatment. Uh, we'll get back to work on Monday. Um, and then we got to, we're going to Lipscomb. They got a really good team. You know, I had to bring it, especially with you know, the number one team in the, in the league coming in, in our building. Uh, and us being the underdogs, I knew I had to give it, you know, everything I had. Also, the Bengals knock off the Ravens to advance to the AFC Divisional Round 24-17. They'll play the Buffalo Bills next. Should be a good one. That wraps things up for sports. I'm Chris Bolton.